I've got 48 acres in hot sulfur springs. So this is a cool land investment we picked up recently. I've got it listed with a realtor, um, local realtor, Amber Lemon out here um, in hot sulfur springs. So um, if you do have questions or want to go view the property, you can on your own. You can also contact Amber Lemon here locally um, to show the property. So had some drone photography done of this lot. Um, hot sulfur springs, kind of an old Western town. You're close to Kremlin, Colorado. You're just overlooking the Colorado River. These are actually photos from the site, from the property site. And so um, I will go in in this video and talk about, you know, what I see in this land investment, um, where it's located, how to access it. I'll pull it up on Google Earth and satellite imagery as well to show you what we're looking at too. So, you know, we do have this price to sell. We're looking to sell this for under 300,000 um, bucks. You know, all the comps are lining up for this property to be north of you know, 300,000 um, for a price point. I'll pull that up on Zillow too. You just don't get a lot of this much acreage in Colorado at this price point. Um, and so again, walking through it, I mean, these are views from the top of the property. Like this is the ridge line of the property here. And you can see, you know, from the top of the property here too. I mean, it's, it's beautiful up here. And this is looking down onto the property. Here's the Colorado River, so. Um, great property to build. Maybe you want to do a wedding venue, some sort of you know, hunting lodge, you know, I don't know, get creative. You got, you, you can get ideas out here. You got 48 acres. Maybe it's something you want to split up and subdivide um, down the road. So again, here's the property. So like I said, an old Western town, really close to Kremlin. Um, you just don't see a lot of opportunities that exist with this amount of acreage. So um, let me get into it here. So we had a recent survey done. If you are interested, um, we did get the property surveyed during the closing process. You can read through some of these notes um, from our surveyor and the title company. I have some good information here. We've got the access point. So here's an access point off Moffitt. So you can see the property actually goes down that street. So something you could do is build in this little section. You can see other homes have developed in similar lot sizes. So maybe you can split this off and develop down here and resell that. I and mean, that's an idea with the property, okay? I mean, maybe your driveway comes up to the property up here. Um, it looks like people have been taking this back route quite frequently into the property as well. Um, you know, I don't know, it, you'd have to have some sort of easement language, um, you know, confirmed with a title company or an attorney, uh, maybe a surveyor to make sure that's legitimate. I guess you could argue a prescriptive easement if there's nothing on paper for this back route. Um, Cause you know, clearly it's been, it's being used to access a property or has been in the past, I should say. Like I said, we picked it up recently. Um, this is truly the dedicated access point. Um, like I said, that that's where your driveway would go up. Maybe you can talk to the neighbor or get an attorney to find out if there's legal access from this route that we see coming in back here. Um, it crosses a lot of properties or at least this one. So you, you just got to figure that out as a buyer and do some due diligence. So, um, but we do have that access point here. The next thing I want to show, um, I just wanted to get to that survey and got a little off track there, but you can see the survey done here. You can see those lots here. So um, again, we did have a recent survey done. Feel free to look through it on your own. And so getting back to the listing, kind of walking you through it. Um, having over 40 acres in this county, in Grand County, Colorado, um, a lot, offers a lot of opportunity and you can use your land a little bit differently than a residential spot. So. You do have the potential to build up to three family uh, or three three single family homes. So that creates a versatile parcel, right? And so, um, you know, it's like you said, a family compound, sure, you know, things like that. So that's what our marketing team wrote in there. So, um, you know, you're right off Highway 40. Um, I'll pull it up here on Google Maps to show you where we're located in terms of this property. I share all the GPS coordinates in here. I do have a link. You can look it up on Google Maps and Google Earth as well right here. And if you are going to go do your own viewing, I'll show you how you can go visit the property successfully on your own too. So um, I'll get to Google Earth here in a second. Let me pull this property up here in Colorado to show you where we're located right off Highway 40 in Hot Sulphur Springs. So this is going to be Rocky Mountain National Park. We're just west of Boulder here. We're between Kremlin and Granby. So this is a really great location. I mean, you're just a hop, skip and a jump from Boulder and Denver. Um, you're up here, Rocky Mountain National Park. Kremlin is just a beautiful area. You've got Radium Hot Springs. You've got world-class hunting and recreation in every direction. Just south of you is Breckenridge, Colorado and I-70. So a world-class location, right? From a bird's eye view. Um, and let me pull it up here on Google Earth to show you what we're looking at. 
again, you can hop down here. You see the Colorado River, through, river running through here. Um, there's a resort and spa, like a hot springs resort and spa down here. So a lot of folks are used going into this old Western town and hopping on the Colorado river. There's, there's public access points along the river. Um, and again, the topography is really nice on this property. You've got this little, um, you've got this section right here that looks really usable. You've got a little bit terrain change and we saw it in the aerial imagery. When you look through it, it's really not that significant. Um, and then you've got this ridge line that's going to offer world-class views up here. This area looks a little bit more protected down here. Um, that's where this neighbor looks to have developed. Um, and then you've got it, it slopes down here too. And then you've got your access point, bringing your driveway up here. Um, maybe you're accessing the back point. Um, then you've got, if I flip around, um, you've got this section here too. So, you know, just to give you guys an idea how how pretty this area is. You've got Tundra Springs. This is like a wedding venue. I was saying that's kind of an idea, wedding, an event venue. Um, I mean, it's really beautiful back here. This is an out-of-state owner, I believe, um, that has some sort of wedding venue going on back here. So um, you've got a pretty lush um, neighborhood looking back behind you. And you can click and look in the Colorado Canyon here. I mean, this is imagery that people upload to Google Earth. So if I go through here, you can click and like click these little dots and you can see the hot springs. Um, you can see the town Hot Sulphur Springs, right? It's a nice little Western town. And so all along the river, you can see the history of the railroad. You can see, um, like I said, this canyon is a really a cool canyon. Um, and you can access the Colorado River from it. So like I said, um, really a great location. We have it priced to sell. We're in the business of moving land fast. We work with a lot of cash buyers at discounted prices. Um, and we do offer seller financing as well. So... The last thing I want to touch on is just pulling up the GPS coordinates and Onyx maps. Um, this would this is what I would use for land viewing if I were going to go visit a property. It's my favorite app. I'll pull up the coordinates here and see if we can find the property. And it's going to show the boundaries of the property. You can use natural features in the landscape. My partner did go visit this property. He loved it, right? You've got Rocky Mountain Outfitters down here. You've got a campground. Um, Onyx maps shows all your public access points, too for land. So um, keep that in mind. You can see that, you know, we've walked the property. Um, you can see the parcel lines here when you're walking it. Um, and so, yeah, um, that's going to be helpful because you can see parcel lines versus Google Earth. You just have to use natural features in the landscape. You know, okay, hey, on the on the southern end of the property, it looks like the neighbors developed right here, um, you know, and things like that. So you're looking at natural features if you're not going to use an app like Onyx Maps. I do have a blog on the website talking about how to use Onyx Maps, and we can see, you know, just public public land is uh, in different colors. You've got BLM land behind you. Across the highway, you've got tons of BLM land. So as I zoom out, you can see it's just it's spotted with BLM land and national forest. You've got Arapaho National Forest down here, just to the south of the property. Um, and like I said, you you really are surrounded by national forest, BLM land, the Colorado River, hot springs, skiing. Um, just a great location that's going to be a little bit more affordable than some other markets out there. Um, you know, like I said, we're this $299,000 listing. We are priced to sell. You can see folks are listing smaller lots, you know, two and a half acre lots here for 200,000 um, bucks. Been on the market for a long time, but this market is growing. And, you know, here's a quarter acre for 45,000 um, that's getting some interest, right? And so if I were to go larger acreages, you know, what can you find for acreage wise that's um, under $300,000? Um, let's look at, you know, lot size, a minimum of at least, you know, 20 acres up to maybe 100 acres. You know, we're selling 48. That kind of gives us, I mean, we're the only listing. So the scarcity of listings in this, in this range is, is really rare. I mean, here's the closest one. I mean, that's got a house on it. So, I mean, I have it filtered by land, but that's coming up here for some reason. Um, it's in the woods. Maybe there's no utilities on it or septic, but here's some larger lots over here. Maybe some subdivision was created, but these aren't anywhere close to as nice as what we're offering. Look at these flat lots in the desert, you know, um, and they're asking 425, 400. There's all these 37 acre lots. They must have subdivided that area up north of Kremlin. Here's a more similar comp, I'd say maybe for 379. For 21 acres, it's a really pretty property. Um, getting a lot of interest, 40 saves in 21 days. So um, you can see, I mean, we really are priced to sell. We're going to be one of the lowest listings you can find. You know, go over to Granby and let's see what they're listing here. 35 acres for 350000 
And I would argue we're right in the overlooking the town of Hot Sulphur Springs. I mean, it, our property is, you know, look at the photos. It's a much better property than what we're looking at here next to the Colorado River, next to town there. So, um, you know, like I said, having 40 acres creates more opportunities. Um, water is going to be well, or you're going to haul in, maybe use a cistern on the property, you know, septic. Um, sewer is going to be septic, unless you can maybe tap into a main line down here. Remember I talked about, you know, maybe you can tap in, maybe you can build on this property and split up this little chunk right here. And you can tap into city water and sewer down here. That could be an option. That's where your home goes. And this is your playground. This is your recreational um, property. Or maybe you build some off-grid structures up here that don't require maybe the wood burning stove for heat and, and electricity and things like that. So um, keep that in mind. There is a lot of possibilities with this lot. So that's about all I've got to share going through comps. Like I said, we're priced to sell and um, give us a call. Let me know if you have questions. What we do here is we buy and sell raw land. Um, looking to sell it with some meat on the bone for the next person. You know, buyers are supposed to verify their own due diligence. We are offering more of a self-service as-is model um, in our real estate. So give me a call, send me a text if you have other questions or interested in other areas. We do work across the Western United States. So my name is Miles McLaughlin here at Wilco Land, 605-250-1256. Thanks for tuning in.